Five Seven Zero Sports. We're here once again on another Sunday uh, evening. This time with uh, some some very great kids and uh, you know on a on a great basketball team. And I know the results didn't really show last year because they had three injuries. But uh, I got a message from uh, Mr. Mr. Kevin Walsh who was on an injury last year, and he said that uh, he's got something for you guys for you guys to uh, to know. I mean, like. A lot of people are sleeping on the Dunmore Bucks. They, they only think about the Lady Bucks, but the the uh, the male Bucks, <laughs> hey, they ain't no joke either. Today we got on uh, Dom Temperino, we got Frank Rosario, and we got Kevin Walsh. Guys, how we doing? Good, sir. How are you? Hey, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to have you guys on the show, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, man, you know, as a Dunmore guy myself, yeah. I'm Dunmore, yeah, you know, it, it's great to actually get to sit down. Yeah. What's the Dunmore guys? I mean, me and you got to sit down last year. Uh, I, I, I think, think it was about uh, what? Towards the end of the season, right, probably. Maybe around season. this time, actually. Right, right, right. So, but, I mean, how 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 have things been going, Dom? Oh, uh, good, very good. Uh, you know, we're working hard to practice, and I think our, our team's really starting to bond and get that chemistry, and we're 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 ready to go when that ball tips off. Right, right, right. So, uh, Frank, you knocked last season. You knocked down you knocked down forty three three pointers. I mean, you're you're pretty much a sniper out there. You, you almost had to hold the team hold the team down with with all the injuries. Yeah. How does it feel to have Kevin back in the lineup? You know, it feels great, especially with these two guys. They're uh, they they can play anywhere basically on the court. You can put them anywhere. It's hard to guard both of them, especially. What are you gonna put a five on him? You can just shoot, and especially him, how big he is, he can just bully people inside. So, we're really looking forward to that this year too. Right, Kev, coming off of, coming off of injury, man, it's got it's got to be a, a, an exciting year for you. I mean, being out. Pretty much the whole year last year. What are your thoughts like coming into the season this year? Yeah, I mean it. Uh, it stunk last year sitting out and uh, watching us not get as many wins as we want. So uh, just coming back this year, trying to win as many games as possible. Right. So have you? I mean, obviously since your injury, have you been on the court? Have you been playing AAU ball? Have you have you been out there yet? Uh, I've been out there with uh, with them at practice, you know, and uh, like going to Crowley Park, just uh, playing with buddies. But uh, I missed AAU because I was still hurt. Right. But I've been getting out there. So we'll be ready. All right, how's your leg feeling? It's good, 100%. 100%? You oh, yeah. got all the bounce in it? Oh, yeah. We can bounce get up and back. dunk it? I don't know about that. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to see. Hey, well, it's, it's good to have you back in the lineup. It's, it's going to be fun to, you know, be able to talk about you. Because last year, I was like, everybody's telling me, Kevin Walsh, Kevin Walsh, Kevin Walsh. And then you get hurt. And I'm like, yeah. well, there goes that. It's the whole season. <laughs> you know, so, but I'm excited to have you back. I'm excited to be able to, you know, get, get your word out and let everybody know. Kevin Walsh can play basketball too. Oh yeah. Uh, so last year, you guys have a rough year. You know, yeah. uh, I, I believe uh, off the top of my head, I want to say the record was like nine and fourteen, 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 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It, 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 are we gonna see a repeat of that this year? No, not uh, at all. I don't think we're gonna see that at all. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's healthy in our lineup this year. Last year we had a yeah, a couple like, early. Injuries, which really hurt us. Right. We were looking forward to use everybody on the team last year, and unfortunately, injuries happened. But this year, everyone's healthy, and like we're really taking it by the horns this year. And especially for me and him, it's our senior year. Right. We're gonna go out there and prove something this year. You got something. You got a lot to prove. A lot. Yes, sir. A real lot. Because there's no way people. I mean, last year, people marking off wins like yeah. oh, they see Dunmore. It's a win because they knew everybody was hurt. But this year. Yeah, I mean, but year. you guys did have, you guys had what? Ten seniors graduate? Yeah, yeah. huge well, senior class. Yeah. That's that's uh, that's absurd. That's yes. a lot, but we got we got people stepping up at practice, especially these two. I mean, right. they're really taking control of the team this year, and we got some scores. Who's who's gonna be that? Who's gonna be that Steve Borgia? Who's gonna be that lockdown defender? Um, uh, I would say probably Frank's brother Nico. He's a sophomore. He's very quick, very fast. He's he's a very good basketball player, and we're gonna. He's only a sophomore, but we're gonna put it on him to lock up that best player that they have, that the right. leading scorer. We're right. very confident in him. And who's and the one other question I got for you is a pretty pretty important question that fans love it when they go to the games and they see juice. Oh yeah, <laughs> they start going crazy for juice. Yes. Sir. Who's gonna be that juice? 
Juice. Juice, juice, juice is that juice, juice this year. Okay, this will be there. This That's year. what I wanted to hear. The juice Don't is there. Okay. Juice. Juice is he's loose this year too. He's yeah. ready to go. Has he gotten any bigger? Because he's a big kid. Yeah, I think he, he grew is. a couple inches over the summer, but he's definitely where it's at, like better yeah. than yeah. last year. Will he be? Will he be in, inserted in the starting lineup? Uh, maybe like later in the season he might. Um, right now we we don't know what the starting lineup is. Right. But he's playing very well at practice every day. He's giving it all he got. Right. And it's hard to guard someone that's that big, you know. Right. Especially if like he's he's big and he has the weight to him that he can bully people around on the inside. Right. So he got he got like two different things going on with him. He's like, if you insert him in the starting lineup, like it's great because you you have him to begin with, but also. The fans love, and the players love, everybody loved when he came into the game, and then you're like, juice, yeah. juice. The fans going, let the juice loose. Yes. Let the juice loose. I mean, I love that. Yeah. I, I love that, and, I, and, and that's, a, that's a great thing to have on your team, you know, mm. somebody with energy like that. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your brother, Nico. Okay. What, what is he bringing to the table? I, I know from at the DCC, like him just shooting around, I know he could shoot pretty good. Yeah. What, what do you expect him to bring to the table? Oh, these guys can say the same. He's crazy. Yeah, he, he's a nut. Just yeah, he will chase nuts. you around all day long. He does not care. But he's a really good defender, and uh, he got he gets really quick, but he got, like, stronger than last year. So this year we're really putting it all on him to lock down people. Right. So, I mean, now looking at the schedule, you got, you got North Pocono first. That's a tough matchup. You know, Colin and uh, – uh, Ruddy and those guys, they ain't no joke. You know, no. those boys could get to the bucket. I mean, how, how, do, how do you guys plan on dealing with that headache? Because it's a headache. It really is. Uh, oh. we're, we're pretty confident in ourselves. Uh, our whole starting five, we're all pretty good at defense. I feel like we yeah. can match up with anybody in the league, especially yeah. if we ever run into a team with a big guy. Just throw juice in there. Yeah, match cut, up with anybody. Cut the juice loose, baby. I love it. Yeah. All right, so so now, then we got Lakeland. That's another tough matchup of... Uh, with was Caleb, Caleb, he's a pretty Vigo. He's a Caleb, pretty good yeah. guy. Caleb, yeah. Yeah. Caleb Vigo, he's a pretty good guy. What are you guys thinking about that matchup? Uh, I'm pretty confident against Lakeland because, like last year, I played the five. I'm only about like six one, six two. I struggled because right. I had some big dudes, but like they're all gone, and I feel like they don't really have that dominant big man this year. Right. So I feel like me and Juice could really take over the game inside there. Right, I like that. Time. I like that. I like that confidence. So you, uh, then the, up next we got Forest City. We all no, know that's Forest, off. Oh, the Forest City's off. It's prep the next yeah, day. We got prep. We got prep. We got prep. Oh, oh yeah. Big. Yes, sir. So we're right. Right. we're ready. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. hey. Why, 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 why is Forest City off? Uh, we don't know, but we just Probably found out. Yeah. And... But we found out we're playing prep, and we're thrilled about that. Because oh, last yeah. year, I don't oh, know if yeah. you remember that game at the line. At yeah. Reese Merritt, he had two big ones on the line to really yeah, right the put end, the yeah. game well, over for now. Well, let's not. Let's just, let's just not. Uh, I think there was a couple calls in that game that could have went either way. Water yeah. under the but bridge. You guys we're not going to talk got, about yeah, that. You guys went, yeah. They went the other way. Yeah. But, you know. It is what it is, but we didn't, happen. we didn't have Kev either. Right? Yeah, that was an easy dub if we had Kev. That's that's an excuse <laughs> to lose every game. We don't got our, we don't got our main guy. Well, I mean, if LeBron ain't playing tonight, do you do, does Vegas expect us to win or no? Exactly. But Probably no one expected not. us to even be in that game last year. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you didn't expect that out of us last year. No, I didn't expect it at all. I ain't exactly. gonna lie. Yeah. I mean, you know me. I keep it hundred yeah. all the time. Yeah. So. I didn't expect that at all. All right. So how about do we still got Blue Ridge? Uh, I think so. I think we possibly. Still possibly. No, that's up in the air right oh, now. So Blue Ridge is a tough team. They probably beat you guys by 30, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 40. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then Carbondale. Mm. Riverside, Reed and Rickett. What we thinking? I know. What we I thinking? Mean, I, know, I know off the court you guys are friends, on, uh, but on the court, it gets real. As real as it gets. What are you thinking about Riverside? Well, uh, last year we clamped them pretty hard. Were you at that game at Delmore? Yes, I was. Yes, I we was. held them to something like that they did do all year so right. i'm confident with the guards with locking them up they don't really have a big player they lost a lot last year right so right hey hey that, that's what it is all right so you don't know what to expect out of holy cross what about them they're right. always good i mean it doesn't matter if they lose everybody their coaches they do a great job developing players and they right. got benny coming back benny's a big yeah player. benny benny's, big a, benny's a big guy I, we got the chance i got the i got the chance to see benny play actually i got the chance to see him train a lot but I also got the chance to see Benny play in the uh, 570 Sports uh, uh, bounce back tournament. And he's good. 
Yeah, yeah. he's good. Very he's skilled. Very good. Right. We're still confident, though. We're yeah. confident in every game this year. We can pull out a dub. Yeah, no doubt. You got to be confident. You can't walk in there thinking you're going to lose. Yeah. Uh, so out of all these teams, I think since you just said, I mean, your toughest match is probably crap. Probably, Definitely, you know, but... those they got some they got some big bodies and they got some they got some guards that can come at you too. So I think that'll probably be your your best matchup. So Kev, I want to ask you personally, w- walk me through when you got hurt. Like, what was the feeling like when you when you first tore your ACL? Uh, well, I did it actually at football practice, and immediately, like, I went down and it hurt bad, but I didn't think it was a torn ACL. I was just hoping for the best. But when I uh, when I got the news, uh, it hurt because. I had to sell out for all football season and basketball season. Right. But I had people around me that were just telling me, just get back to work, get ready for next year. Right. So what was the road like to recovery? Uh, it was long. Uh, after about uh, six months, I did physical therapy for about five and a half months. And at six months, they said I could start like starting basketball stuff again. And in about eight months, I was able to fully practice. Right, right, right. So now, so, so, so now that you're, you actually get back on the court, what is your feeling like? What 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 are you gonna feel like stepping on the court for that first game? Uh, I mean it's been a while, but uh, it's gonna feel great. I feel like right now my knees at 100, percent and it's just gonna feel great to be back out there. Right, right. Frank, he walks in the game. He's a little nervous. You know, you you see him. He he misses his first four or five shots. What what are you gonna instill in him to to help him to continue to play well? Uh, keep your head well? up and just keep shooting because we need you. You know, like, right. I don't know, like, if someone misses a shot, it's not the end of the world. Right. You got to keep shooting because then they'll finally fall. Right. So has uh, Kevin your, Kevin Clark, your coach, has he mentioned who's going to be in, who, has he mentioned who's your team captains? Because I don't even know who your team captains are yet. Not yet. Not yet? No. These two have done a great job stepping up and leading the team right now, though. We don't have official captains, but right. these two have done a great well, job. Well, I mean, you don't always need a captain, but it's always great to have that senior leadership, somebody that you can lean on, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they do it even in the NBA. They, they may hire, hire a guy just to come on and just be a, just be a, a, yeah. a leader, yep. you know? Yeah. Every team needs a leader. Yes, yeah. sir. You know, that's how, that's how you win games. Uh, so what about, uh, is it, what about, is there a significance in the number you wear? 15 uh since day one that's just always been my number that's okay. pretty you, much all there is don't to you it. also play football yeah i do I, do you wear 15 in football too i do not choose okay uh kevin actually wore 15. Oh, you, <laughs> I was 15 yeah. <laughs> you should have knocked on it but yo let me get my number 15 bro uh, i wish <laughs> <laughs> is there a significance to the number you wear Ah, uh, not really no? i just didn't like my number freshman year <laughs> <laughs> that they threw me so how about you? Is there a significant the number you wear? No, I wore a 31 freshman year. Just it was the last one available. <laughs> right. I was the freshman. I got the last pick. <laughs> is there anything special that you guys have to do before the game? Like, are you wearing a certain set of shorts? Are you wearing socks, sneakers? You have to like. Is there anything that you're doing before the game that you have to do? Uh, well, I always put on. One, a left sock, and then a left shoe, then a right sock, then a right shoe. Before every, that's my superstition, before every game. Okay. Football, basketball, baseball, that's, that's okay. how I do it. What about you, Frank? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't put my shoes on until we're about to walk out. Okay. Like, I keep them on, like, it's laced out. Like, I don't lace them up until I'm about to walk out. Okay. What about you, Kev? I don't really have any superstitions. But you don't have any superstitions? Nah. Maybe just stepping on the court. How about that? Yeah. You know? How about, uh... Where where do you think you improved on the off season? In the off season, um, I'd say in like probably like shooting and overall just scoring, because last year I was just like a glass cleaner. I was pretty much just in there for boards, set people up with screens and whatnot. But I mean, this year I'm a senior. I'm expected a lot. Like there's a lot more expected of me. I'm like they want me to put up some points and. So I, I think I got a lot better on the offensive end in the off season. Right, Frank. What do you think you improved? Uh, shooting over the off season and ball handling was like a big one for me. Like coming off screens a little tighter, right. so people can't get around and be able to score off that. Right. So being that you hit forty three threes last year, now you're able to actually pump fake the three and yeah, drive by. So I've been know? working on going off the screen, pull up jumpers, and stuff like that. Right. What about you, Pat? Uh I worked on uh, shooting with Coach Clark a lot, especially after I got hurt. He told me, like, if I need to reinvent my shot, I could do it because I have so much time. So I just jump shot and ball handling. Right, right, right. Uh, so, um, let me see. 
What, what part of the game would you say comes the easiest for you? Probably defense. Like, just from, like, playing, like, other sports, like, I kind of, like, pick things up fast, and, like, I just understand the concept of, like, what needs to be done, and, like, I can help, like, other players, too. Yeah, right. I'm mainly a defensive player. Right. What about you, Frank? Uh, I never really, like, when I was younger, I never really, like, scored much. Right. I was more of a defensive player, too. Right. Like, growing up, because, like, I just never had, like, the time, because I played so many other sports. But nah, I really like, I, I'm like both ways kind of, you know, I could really clamp someone up and if I need to score, I could score. Right, what about you? Uh, definitely defense too, because I've been guarding players since I was younger. Uh, also just like getting to the rim, going through people. That's been my thing since I was young. Right, so I mean, would you, would, if you're going up against a, 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 a let's see, a Gavin or a, Rickard. Rickard or Reed, are you gonna are you gonna take on that matchup? Of course, hundred percent. Okay, no doubt. I like, that's why I like to hear. Yeah. I like to hear the star guy say, "I'm gonna take on the the best player." Because the reason being is because if you're willing to take on the best player, you're also willing to put one hundred percent on your offense too. You gotta do. You gotta go both ways. Yeah. You know, uh, you know they pick on LeBron a lot right now because he's just the one. They say he's just a one way player. He's not locking down on defense, but. Yeah. I mean, if you're all that great at scoring, who cares? But, I mean, you got to be a lockdown defender, too. Uh, what about, what do you think, what do you think was the high point of last season? Last season? I would say, like, last year we were definitely, like, a defensive team. Like, we were offensively challenged. We didn't put many points up on the board. But at the same time, you know, the other, the other opposing team didn't score many points. And right. Like the younger guys watching that, watching how we do things defensively, and I think defense wins championships, and hopefully we could just carry that into this season. Right. What about you, Frank? Uh, you know, last year it was our first year with Coach Clark too, so we were just getting everything, getting how he runs his plays, how he runs defense, and everything. So I think we really got our defense down this year for this year because we have a lot of kids coming back that know the defense, how to run it and everything. But I think the highlight of our year last year was uh, game-wise was definitely being Riverside on TV. I mean, right, yeah. Sloan came out and did a great job off the bench, four three-pointers I think he hit. Right, yeah. And then we, our defenders did a great job locking up Reed and Rickard. I mean, right. they didn't score, they didn't win the game. So that's right. what the pilot. Whether it's Whether it's basketball or it's football, it's always fun beating Riverside, would you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's better though being like Holy Cross in basketball though for us because I mean it's our town like yeah, come right on the, the right down, yeah the school right up the, the street road, living, winning district championships in your neighborhood yeah they're just they're just known as the school up the street for us yeah 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 but they, I mean you also lose a lot of kids to them too you know I uh, mean there's a lot of kids that live in Dunmore that go yeah. to Holy Cross or a lot of kids that live in Dunmore and go to Scranton Prep mm -hmm. that's essentially like losing a player like I mean, think yeah. about it I mean sometimes you, sometimes you may have you may have uh, Taylor Dunmore Community Center may have developed a great player, and next thing you know, they're they went to yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know that hurts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what does suck. But yeah, that hurts. I mean, but that happens everywhere. It's not just no. It not happens just, at all you know, Catholic schools. Yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, so, how do you guys stay motivated after a loss? I mean, you you gotta know how to do it from last year. It was a rough <laughs> road. So, how do you guys stay motivated after a loss? Uh, I definitely just got to put that on Kevin Clark, our head coach. Like, <laughs> no, seriously, like, he it, he hates losing. Like, oh, more, yeah, he uh, hates it. More than anything. And, like, when we lose, after a loss, he, he tells us, like, all right, we got practice tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day, you know. Yeah. You got to keep your head up, and we're, we're going to focus on our next opponent, and we're getting a win. Right. He didn't, he didn't, uh. He didn't care if you you guys had three guys out, right? He didn't no, care. Not at all. No, no excuse. No excuse. Yeah, no yeah, excuse. Exactly, exactly. How, how about you? How do you cope with a loss? Uh, say away is him, honestly. Coach Clark really does a great job with that. I mean, we're in, if we lose a game and we have a Saturday practice, he makes sure we're at a Saturday practice, 9 a.m., ready to go. Right. It's a new week, more games, opportunities. But they definitely sting, you know, but you got to put it in the past with any sport. I mean, right. If you keep that in the back of your head, oh, we lost this game, you're just going to keep going, 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 and right. it's just going to go to a losing streak. Right, right. Well, this is going to be a new year for you. 100%. This is going to be yeah, a new year for you. Y'all going to win a bunch of games this year. Yeah. I, hope. I mean, 
I, th I think so. I think you guys got a pretty good lineup, you know? And with, with, with having Kev back, it really changes things. Oh, yeah. I mean, teams are not going to expect it. They don't even know what to expect out of Kev right now. Or yeah. my brother. There's a lot of teams don't know my brother either. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't yeah. They don't know what to expect out of you guys this year. But I think you guys will have a great year. I, I can see... I can see... I don't know. It's going to be tough. It's going to be dicey because you got to... Yeah. You got you to gotta get into the arena is, is where is the goal, you know, and win yeah, the district yeah. championship. Yeah. But... Definitely. There's a lot of tough teams too. Yeah. I mean, three right. off the bat are really hard, but if we, yeah. I think we could definitely do it. Yeah, yeah. hey, going to war every game, but I, we're ready. We're all competitors, so yeah. we get after each other in practice. And yeah, no doubt. I mean, it, and so if you look, at, if you take a look at it, you guys probably have definitely the, the top three coaches in the league. Probably you would say. Oh that, yeah, I, heard, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not going to come down to coaching. No, no. So we'll see what happens with that. Well. uh I see. As far as is there any message that you guys want to deliver to the other teams, or you want to like let them know that hey, we're here to play before we get off? Just don't sleep on us. I'm telling you that right now. Don't mark us off as a loss because we if we go to battle every game. You saw that last year. Right. There's some games that you don't think we're gonna win, but we come out and we fight. Don't more kids fight till the end. You know that. Right. You live in yeah. Dunmore. Right, right. We like it done. Yeah, more, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Thank you guys for coming on Five Seven Zero. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Yes, no doubt.